afternoon, I am Vanessa Thomas with the 12 o'clock news on the street, 919 FM, and online Facebook and YouTube. In the headlines, Com Imbert to act as Prime Minister as Dr. Keith Rowley flies out of the country. The state to pay Nigeria national $850,000 for a shooting incident. UNC slams Prime Minister over talks of gas price hike and internationally budget-conscious shoppers are crossing beef off their grocery list as beef prices soar. And now the news in detail. The office of the Prime Minister has announced that Dr. Keith Rowley will be out of the country on a private trip. He will spend the weekend in Barbados. In a statement today, the office said Finance Minister Colm Imbert will act as Prime Minister until Dr. Rowley's return. The state has been ordered to pay over $850,000 in compensation to a 45-year-old Nigerian man who was shot by police while being evacuated from the Immigration Detention Center in Aripo during a fire in 2015. According to the evidence in the case, in January 2015, a fire broke out in the dormitory area of the center. During the evacuation, the man was shot in the leg and beaten. He was represented by attorney Matthew Gale and Crystal Paul. The opposition UNC condemned the Prime Minister on Thursday for hinting that people could pay higher gasoline prices in the near future. At a conversation with the Prime Minister on Tuesday night, Dr. Rowley said the current high prices of oil on the world market would not insulate Trinidad and Tobago. Dr. Rowley said if the government removes the subsidy, premium gas would go from $5.75 per litre to $7.58, super gasoline from $4.97 to $7.46 per litre, and diesel from $3.71 to $6.58 per litre. Addressing a news conference at the opposition leader's office in Port of Spain, Senator Damian Leider claimed these statements by Dr. Rowley were evidence of a government seeking to wage war on citizens. He was concerned that people could be paying double or more for gas. Leider warned that any increase in gas prices could have a knock-on effect on other goods and services. Internationally, families across the U.S. on a budget are removing red meat from their menus after beef prices have risen more than 16% since last year. Sirloin steak went to U.S. $11.65 a pound and U.S. $4.63 a pound for ground beef, while chicken breasts reach, uh, reached a 16-year high in February at U.S. $3.82 per pound, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. More families are swapping out burgers and the steaks for chicken, grocers, and meat wholesalers say. Walmart, the largest and lowest cost grocer in the U.S., has raised prices dramatically, according to analysts who surveyed budget retailers across the U.S. in late February and found that the average price increase at Walmart, Target, and the dollar stores were up 8.1%. And that was the 12 o'clock news on the street, 919 FM, and online Facebook and YouTube recapping the headlines. Calm Imbert to act as Prime Minister as Dr. Keith Rowley flies out of the country. The state to pay Nigeria national $850,000 for a shooting incident. UNC slams Prime Minister over talks of gas price hike and internationally budget-conscious shoppers are crossing beef off their grocery list as beef prices soar. Do enjoy your afternoon and continue to be safe. I am Vanessa Thomas.